welcome, 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 welcome back, family. Welcome to the Reiki Healing Hope Community. A place to heal, relax, be yourself, and be surrounded by those who want to see you blossom and or bloom. I am Jessica. What's up? What's up? <laughs> a Reiki master teacher and intuitive, and today we have a special healing session. Today we are going to be removing toxic loyalty healing toxic loyalty situation so sit back relax and enjoy if you're new go ahead and subscribe to your girl let, let me know that i'm loved you know leave a comment smash the like button love it love it love it and if you want to continue to learn more you want some deep knowledge some relaxation and some fun you can go ahead and join us in our patreon family we are having a blast we're working on spirit guides spirit helpers this week and connecting with them so let's go ahead and jump into our, this healing session so one understanding toxic loyalty trying to heal it trying to remove it removing it and healing it we have to understand first what it is so i'm going to be working on you in an energetic way and i'm going to explain things so there's going to be certain moments where i ask you to breathe in a certain way but really what we're focusing on is you understanding what's happening as well as to get rid of the toxic loyalty too so toxic loyalty you see this a lot in friends family and love unfortunately you'll see it a bit in business too um in working environments when you're too afraid to quit for some reason like you know that your job could fire you at any moment but yet you're too afraid to quit okay um we're gonna start here in the foundational aspect which is the family and you might notice that you have had a parental figure mother father or whomever that was for you that may have asked you in an energetic way, not in a spoken way, but through habits and through understanding or feeling their energy to be aligned with something that was not for your highest vibrational good. And, you know, they may have done it in what they felt like was for your greatest good. So making you aware, making you very hypersensitive or make you have to shut off your emotions or something like that because they are trying to from a lower vibrational state help you or make you stronger i personally had <laughs> it's funny now because i'm grown and i don't care but growing up you know my dad always was trying to teach me these lessons in life to be self-sufficient to be um, strong to be level-headed to provide for myself and I got the lessons and actually I got the lessons when I was younger and he was teaching it to me but he taught it in such a bad way like in when I needed things I knew I couldn't go to him but you know it would be one thing if he himself was out there being self-sufficient but it was more of a do as I say not as I do because he was still like living off of his mother which is kind of funny when i think about it like dang man i can't get no money for a field trip <laughs> but that's okay because i worked and what i'm saying there is like that would be a toxic loyalty if i continued which i did for many years continued to want that parental relationship but wanted in a traditional way instead of allowing it to be whatever it was you know and i think wanting that so bad i had to validate an experience that wasn't real like no things didn't happen the way you thought it did homeboy but no worries there you know just speaking the truth and then when i became an adult and i realized that like wow he really was doing the best that he could like if he had known better if he had that demonstrated to him by his father or whomever that he's seen as an authority figure he would have done better and he really was trying his hardest his best was not good enough but he tried his hardest and it gave me a new perspective of which i didn't have to hold on to um this way of looking or this baggage and so that's just giving you an example now this can happen in friends too where your friends with someone 
so long that they don't ever really want to see you change and so as you are blossoming and blooming and you know you go through different phases you, you remember being in elementary school to middle school middle school to high school high school to college college to grad school grad school to the working world and then having those life experiences of children or having greater responsibility and you know starting a business things like that you're going to change and sometimes people want you to be the same person that you always were and you just can't and it might feel sad to leave those people behind but believe me the right people will grow with you they'll allow you to grow and sometimes you gotta just let the other people just be where they're at but toxic loyalty is when you have this kind of codependent um friendship codependent connection with people that don't serve you but you just feel like you need it or you think you need it but it's based in fear that's how you know when something is toxic loyalty when it's based in fear you know for a long time i wanted to be the friend that never turned their back on anyone even you know when they're in their worst most vulnerable state and then i realized that i gotta be my best friend first so as we get into the healing session to correct this I just want you to breathe through here and first I want to just remove any of this surface level stuff anything that we might just think like we're not even aware that it's a problem just moving that and working with toxic loyalty it can be very um, energetic and karmic. So you might do something in your family that you didn't realize was bad, like self-sabotaging. A lot of times comes from that. You unconsciously saw somebody do that, and so you just continue to do it. And you don't even realize you're doing it. And let me explain to you. Let me break it down. It could be as simple as you see something that you like, you're going after it, and you think to yourself, if I get excited about this, you know, what if something bad happens? So I'd rather not do things that make me excited. Okay, well, if that's what you believe, you will continue to reproduce that. So once you try to break that habit, something different will happen and you will perceive it as it being bad when in reality, that's not it at all. You know, nothing bad happened. It's just a new opportunity, but you're perceiving things so you're self-sabotaging or you're doing something really well and then you start to feel like you're having imposter syndrome that for some reason even though you made all of this stuff happen for some reason just you being you it's not going to work out these are all examples of toxic loyalty in very ways now the origins or the perpetuating of the toxic loyalty lies within yourself and the reason why is because you cannot blame any person it doesn't matter even if someone is treating you mean or treating you bad the reason why you can't blame any person is because when you blame another person you are giving them the power to make you feel good or make you feel bad it's so and so's fault well then that means so and so has the power to make you feel good or make you feel bad the only person who has the power to regulate your feelings is yourself so you being allowing yourself to just be all out there and giving your power away is the problem it's not someone coming in and just you know just acting a fool it's you giving that to someone if you see someone treating someone bad why would you go and do that and sometimes it's like things start off in a very nice way or you didn't realize you had to like keep your eye out but as soon as you realize realize it correct it make new boundaries you demonstrate to people how you should be treated and that is one of the most important steps of toxic loyalty to set boundaries and guess what people are going to respect you they're going to drop you or they're going to hoot and holler who cares the right people won't be in your life if you let them be and once you clear out those toxic people the right people come up believe me it's true i lived it <laughs> so just remove any of that so we're going to go into your chakra systems going up 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th just clearing that out i want you to take a couple moments to breathe 
breathe in here. And I want you to breathe in this connection to universe, source, God, whatever it is you believe in. That's your business. And I want you to continue to send that energy up. You're sending this energy up a gesture of receiving wisdom from God, universe, source, and your higher self. So sending that up. I'm just going to be raising your vibrational energy here. So that you bring yourself up that you know you have this connection and this energy and I'm just going to be removing any toxic loyalty anywhere just letting it go moving that and removing that moving that and removing that just sending it away, sending it on to its next evolutionary path so it can become something more, you know. Look here, dirt and fertilizer, okay? Goes in and gives nutrients to the plants that come up. So let these toxic loyalties go. Let them go on to fertilize a new experience to bring things up. So Take three deep breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, final breath, inhale, exhale, clear it away, and as you inhale, as you exhale, I'm going to lift up, two more, inhale, exhale, final breath, inhale, Okay, smoothing that out. How do you feel? So, if you feel comfortable, I want you to just rub your hands a little bit. If you want to just rub your hands in your mind, you can do that too. I want you to start to feel this energy within you, just a movement. Bringing your hands to your heart right there, I want you to feel the empowerment, feel the lovely energy within yourself grow. I'm just going to place my hand there as well. And just feel this beam of light in the center of your chest just expanding, taking up space, moving past your internal to your external body, taking up space in the room, going up and going down, connecting and grounding, manifesting and clearing all of that beautiful energy. And I want you to see all of the previous toxic loyalty being severed. This light just disintegrates any connections that could have been left and even the memory of the connections if you see it you see it in a kind of nonchalant kind of way but you are released and you are let go of those things that are burdening you that no longer serve you that you need to remove from your energetic path you are worth so much more you are so much more you are light and love and happiness and all that stuff in between in a couple moments, just going to send you some energy, some empowerment, some love to fill up your understanding. causes you fear, let it go. I don't care if it's your mom, your dad, your significant other, your best friend, your boss. I don't care what it is. Let it go. I don't care if these people go kicking and screaming along the way. As long as you feel physically safe and know that if you did not feel physically safe, you should be reaching out for support and help. So do not let somebody, you know, trample all over you. You have access to resources. Use those resources. And to know that you are worthy of a stronger and loving and powerful life. That these beautiful gifts that you have to share with community can only come out if you hold yourself with the greatest amount of respect. And you do not let people fuck with you, okay? I'm serious. Like, I'm going to be very just stern with you. Do not let somebody walk all over you. Okay? Don't do it. 
be yourself. You don't have to walk all over other people. You can just stand in who you are and just be happy with who you are, okay? So I'm going to just seal over your aura, smoothing it over, seal with the sign of the infinity. I'm going to say, if no one else has said it, don't touch your face. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And be sweet to yourself. I love you, love you, love you. See you on Patreon.